Hi. Hope you're having a good evening. Uh, it's Mr. Rand here, and we're going to do a short lesson on perimeter. Perimeter is probably a review to you. So um, I want you to just take a look at um, some of this, and hopefully it'll all come back to you so we can do a fun project tomorrow in class on perimeter. All right. Let's see here if I switch over. What is perimeter? Hmm. It, this is kind of interesting because it says peri means around and meter means measure. So altogether, perimeter means uh, the measure or distance around something. Why do we need things to measure the perimeter of things? This is where I want you to take out your notebook. And I want you to write down at least five things or five ideas of why we need perimeter or how we use it. Go ahead and write those down. I'll give you a little bit of time. And if you need to pause, you can pause if you need a little bit more time. So go ahead and pause the video here or you can, uh, if you've got five things written down, and you can go to the next thing. All right, which objects would you use to measure the perimeter of an object? Okay, we have, looks like a wooden ruler here. We have a thermometer, a clock, a scale, and another type of scale and another type of ruler or meter stick. So go ahead and write those things down. Um, I'll just give you a couple seconds to do that. Which of those things do you think would be great to do? Write down at least one or two. All right, continuing on, um, this is kind of a neat thing. It's what is perimeter? These rectangles and squares represent the fields of a local farmer. You need to help the farmer measure the fields in order to build a fence around each. So what you need to do is you have three different problems here. Okay, and on your note-taking paper, um, I would like for you to go ahead and do this. Now, what you can do is, um, let's look at this first one right here. Okay, when doing perimeter, we're going to add up all of the sides of this object. So everything around, not the inside, but the outside, okay? And so if this is five meters, we know that this side is also five meters, and this side is two meters, and this side is also two meters. So we're gonna add them all up together. So we're gonna do five plus five plus two plus two. We add them up. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 plus 2 is 4, so 10 plus 4 is 14. And our first fence is going to have to be 14 meters. Okay? Now, we did that first one. I would like you to go ahead and try the second two. Um, if you need to pause because you, you're running out of time and you didn't get to quite finish those other problems, go ahead and uh, finish those problems and pause the video and you can come back to this video, the next step of this video. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to use this ruler to find the actual uh, perimeter of this shape. We have a triangle here. And what I'd like for you to do is we're going to measure it, let's see, in centimeters. So I am on the right side here. And we're going to put it right where it needs to be and figure out exactly how many centimeters we have here. So that looks about, it's pretty close to one, two, three, four, five and a half centimeters. So if you want to go ahead and put five and one half. Sorry that that's kind of messed up a little bit, but I will, there we go. So we have five and a half centimeters there, and then we need to measure this side. Now, the cool thing about having these really fun tools 
is that we can shape it. And if we measure this one right here, we have about nine centimeters even, which is nice. So we can write down or type in over here, we have nine centimeters. And we have to measure our last but not least side of our triangle. And this takes a little bit of time. So go ahead and take your time when you're doing this, but I'm kind of getting it all set up for you. And this one, as you can see, is seven centimeters. So I'll move this out of my way, my ruler here, and we'll type in seven centimeters. For some reason, that's just below the line. But we now have our measurements. So now we can go ahead and put in five and a half. Just gonna try to extend that out. And then here we have seven. <laughs> and I'm not sure why that's going below. And here we have nine. So you'll have to um, just go with it. I'm not sure why those numbers are going below, but we're gonna add them up. So we have five and a half plus seven plus nine. Okay, and then we are going to put in our final answer, which if we do quickly in our heads, seven plus nine is 16, plus the five, we have 21 and a half. So in our answer, then we're going to put 21, and a half is our answer. And again, I'm not sure why that's going where it is, but that's all right. Um, there we go, we can move them up a little bit. I'm slowly learning how to do all these things with it on there. So we have our problems uh, answered, and I'm just trying to move this up to make it look a little bit neater. And so we added them up all the sides and we found the entire perimeter of this triangle to be 21 and a half centimeters. So the perimeter of the shape is, and I'm sure if I type it in, maybe it'll work, 21 and one half centimeters. Now, what's important to do is to make sure that you are putting in your label. So here is our answer and we have our centimeters after it for our label. Now, tomorrow we're going to play a really fun game. And this game is found on IXL. And I'm gonna quickly show you, this is what will come up in the game. And you will simply have to figure out what the perimeter is. You can use by counting the sides, you know, adding by using the grid to help you out. But you're gonna to try to figure out what the perimeter is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply count the sides. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. And the top side we have one, two, three, four. So eight plus eight is 16 and four plus four is eight. So we have 24. And you're simply gonna put the 24 units in, hit submit, and it'll tell you if you did a great job and you go on to the next one. And if you don't do it, let's say I'm gonna just put in 10 for this one, it'll say, sorry, incorrect the answer and they'll give you the answer. And you can click um, or you can go down below and it'll give you an explanation exactly on how to do this. And here it tells you how to figure it out and how to do the sides. So if you get it wrong, you can actually go back and figure it out. And once you have it, you're like, oh, now I see what's going on. You can hit got it and go on to the next answer or problem and try to answer. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely, lovely evening and I will see you bright and early. if I can turn it off, <laughs> which I can't right now. Let's see here.